Hey everyone, Ryan here, and in this video, you're going to learn how to create a categorized timesheet in Excel all the way from scratch. And once you're finished with the timesheet, you'll be able to easily track your time by entering a few pieces of information, including a specific category. And you can even use the category column to track time for different clients instead, if that's what you need it for. Now, as you track your time, you can use the summary page to quickly add more clients or categories. Then you can view the total time for any time period broken down by category. And everything is dynamic. So all you have to do is change the dates on top, then everything else updates accordingly. Okie dokie, that's it for the overview. So let's begin with a blank Excel workbook. The first thing that we're going to do is set up the worksheet structure. So start by clicking here to select all cells in the worksheet, then change the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to middle. Right click on the row headers, select row height, set the height to 20, click OK. Right click on the column headers, select column width, Set the width to 15, click OK. Next, select column A, right click, column width, set the width to 5, click OK. Then select row 1, right click, row height, set the height to 30, and click OK. Then bold the font. Increase the font size to 14, add a dark blue fill color, change the font color to white, and change the horizontal alignment to left. Now, hide the grid lines by going to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. Okie dokie, that does it for the structure, so the next step is to make a copy of this worksheet. So right click on the Worksheet tab, select Move or Copy, check Create a Copy, and click OK. Then rename the sheet tabs to Time Log and Summary. OK, first let's focus on the Summary tab. Start by selecting cell B1 and type in Summary. Next, select B3 through C4, hold Control, and also select E3 through E4. Then go to Home, click the down arrow next to the Borders button, and select More Borders. Change the border color to this light gray, then click the Outline and Inside buttons to apply all borders, and click OK. Now select Column D, right click, Column Width, Change the width to 5, and click OK. Next, select B3 through B4. Hold Control, also select E3, bold the font, and add a light gray fill color. Select E4, bold the font, and change the font color to dark blue. Awesome. Now, we're going to create the summary table below. So start by selecting cell B6 and enter category, then duration, percent, and chart. After that, select B6 through E10 and go to insert table. Check the box next to my table has headers and click OK. Under the Table Design tab in the ribbon, change the table name to Summary. And this step is very important, so please don't skip it. Once you've done that, uncheck the box next to Filter button, click the down arrow here, select New Table Style. Give the new style a name, then select the whole table element and click Format. Under the Border tab, change the color to this light gray. Then click the Outline and Inside buttons, and click OK. 
select the header row element next, click Format, and under the Border tab, change the color to dark blue. Change the style to a slightly thicker line, and click here to apply a bottom border. Now, click on the Fill tab, select this light gray, click on the Font tab, change the style to bold, then click OK and OK. To apply the new style, click the down arrow here and select Custom Style. Looks awesome. To finish the table, select the Duration, Percent, and Chart columns, go to Home, add a light gray fill color, and change the font color to dark blue. Then type in a few sample categories like so. To finish up the summary worksheet, select cell B3 and type in start date, then end date. And in cell E3, type in total time. The last thing that you need to do is enter two sample dates in C3 and C4. And once you've done that, you can format them to look the way you want. Select C3 and C4, right click, Format Cells, click on the Number tab, select Date, and pick a date format that works for you. And if you don't see date formats that you're accustomed to, try changing the location below to match where you live. This will change the date formats that are given to you. And once you've selected a date format, click OK. That does it for the summary worksheet at the moment. We will come back to add in the formulas later on. For now, go ahead and move over to the time log page. Start by selecting cell B1 and type in time log. Then select cell B3 and enter date, category, start, stop, and duration. After that, select the range B3 through F10 and go to Insert, Table. Check the box next to My Table Has Headers and click OK. Then under the Table Design tab in the ribbon, change the table name to Time Log with no spaces. And again, this step is very important, so please don't skip it. Once you've done that, uncheck the box next to Filter button, click the down arrow here, and apply the custom table style. Then select the Duration column, go to Home, add a light gray fill color, and change the font color to dark blue. Fantastic! Go ahead and add in some sample data to the table like so. Now for the duration formula. Select cell F4 and enter the following. Equals if function open bracket at stop close bracket greater than equals open bracket at start close bracket next argument open bracket at stop, close bracket, minus, open bracket, at start, close bracket, next argument, one, minus, open bracket, at start, close bracket, plus, open bracket, at stop, close bracket, close parentheses, and enter. Once you enter the formula, you will probably see some weird numbers like this. Don't worry though, this is normal. Times are actually stored as numbers within Excel, and so the numbers that we have here are actually correct. They just don't look like times yet because we haven't changed the number formatting to a time format. To fix this problem, select the duration column, right click, Format Cells, then under the Number tab, select Time, 
and select a format that you like. I'm choosing this one because it will show the time value as hours and minutes. And then of course, click OK. Awesome. Now we can clearly see that the formula is calculating the duration between the start and stop times. Now let's say that you want the duration calculation to give you the number of hours instead of a time value. For example, instead of 2 colon 4 5, you'd like to see 2.75 hours instead. To perform this calculation, follow these two steps. First, select the duration column, right click, format cells, change the number format to number, click OK. Then select F4, and at the end of the formula, enter asterisk 24 and press enter. Now you get the number of hours rather than the time value. For the rest of this video though, I'll be going back to the time value calculation. So I'm going to undo, undo, and undo. Okay, now let's format the date column. Select this column, right click, format cells, select date, pick a format that you like, and click OK. Now for the category column. Here we want to add drop down menus to make it super easy to select a specific category or client. To do this, we need to go back to the summary sheet first. Select the category column here, then click in this box, which is called the name box, and type in category list with no spaces and press enter. This creates a range name that will refer back to our list of categories. So now you can go back to the time log worksheet, select the category column here, and go to data, data validation. Under allow, select a list, and for the source, enter equals, category list, which is the range name that we just created, and click OK. You can now assign categories to each individual time entry like so. Awesome. For the final step, select cell A4 and go to View, Freeze Panes, Freeze Panes. This will enable you to scroll and keep the table headers in view at all times. And that does it for the time log worksheet, so let's move back to the summary worksheet. Once you're there, select cell C7 and enter the following formula. Equals sum ifs function time log open bracket duration close bracket next argument time log open bracket category close bracket next argument open bracket at category close bracket, next argument, time log, open bracket, date, close bracket, next argument, quote, greater than equals, quote, ampersand, dollar sign C, dollar sign three, next argument, time log, open bracket, date, close bracket, next argument, quote, less than, equals, quote, ampersand, dollar sign C, dollar sign four, close parentheses, and press enter. Once again, you should see strange numbers like this, unless of course you changed the formula earlier to calculate the number of hours instead. But if you do have numbers like this, just remember to adjust the number formatting. Select the duration column, right click, format cells, select time, pick a format that you like, and click OK. Nice. Now for the percentage calculation. Select cell D7 and enter the following formula. Equals if function, open bracket, at duration, 
close bracket equals zero next argument zero next argument open bracket at duration close bracket divided by some function open bracket duration close bracket close parentheses close parentheses and press enter then select the percent column go to home and click this button to change the number format to percent nice next select cell e7 and enter the formula equals open bracket at open bracket percent close bracket close bracket and press enter we need this formula to help us create the data bars speaking of which that is the next step so select the chart column and go to conditional formatting data bars more rules check the box next to show bar only change the minimum type to number change the maximum type to number and change the maximum value to one then under bar appearance change solid fill to gradient fill change the color to dark blue and click ok awesome for your last formula select cell e4 and enter the following equals sum function summary open bracket duration close bracket close parentheses and press enter and just like that you're finished with the timesheet to add more categories just click the bottom right corner of the summary table and expand down and of course you can expand the time log table on the other worksheet the exact same way that being said thank you so much for watching and give this video a like if you had fun or learned something new leave me a comment if you have any questions or request for future builds and aside from that i will see you again in the next spreadsheet life video you're like a circle that floats around me keeping me safe and sound